All right, Stephen, uh, we had an interesting story that came into our inboxes this week. You, we know you're probably getting tired of hearing all about ChatGPT at this point, but this has a little bit of a different twist coming ahead of NVIDIA GTC because in a blog post, which we will link in the show notes, Microsoft revealed that the hardware that it's been using to train all those fancy OpenAI models is being powered by NVIDIA A100 GPUs running over InfiniBand. Now, we've talked about the A100 quite a bit here on the show, and it is the flagship card that NVIDIA has been using to tout how impressive their AI capabilities are, which makes me wonder, if GTC is coming up next week, and this news story is coming out today, could we potentially see some interesting announcements coming out at GTC next week? Maybe a, a more advanced chip or some more AI integrations into how to make these things run faster and better? Well, one thing I think we're going to see at GTC is announcement that more and more companies and cloud providers are supporting the H100. In fact, uh, Microsoft also released a blog post outlining a new uh, AI training super virtual machine. I'm calling it a super virtual machine. They don't, but I'm going to. Because get a load of this thing. Eight H100s uh, and 400 gigabit uh, InfiniBand, uh, NVSwitch and NVLink, um, Intel Sapphire Rapids uh, processors, uh, 16 channels of DDR5 DRAM. Um, the, this is a monster. Uh, if you thought that there were big cloud servers offered by others, um, this training uh, super server is just incredible. And, and it's, it's things like this that are going to make AI un, even more uh, prevalent. So I, I think that the, the lesson here, the, the takeaway from Microsoft's uh, um, blog post and sort of, sort of how to look at it, is basically that, that Microsoft has seen AI as an opportunity to really, really lean into AI, and not just as, uh, you know, in, in terms of like powering Bing with, with ChatGPT, but in terms of basically making AI a fundamental uh, offering, AI training uh, a fundamental offering of Azure. And that, more than anything, well, maybe not more than a billion dollars, but more than anything, is the reason that companies like uh, OpenAI are using Azure for the to train their models, and that's really uh, the main reason that a lot of these companies have sort of gravitated to that cloud. Um, I think this is a great move for Microsoft. I mean, Azure was uh, always the enterprise-friendly cloud, uh, leaving uh, Amazon and Google and Oracle and the rest to really work hard to try to catch up in the enterprise space. And now Microsoft has uh, even more heavily leaned into offering uh, really the, the top AI cloud here, which is amazing because Google's been working on that for a long time. But uh, wow, this, this is really an impressive, uh, impressive setup. So uh, basically, uh, it's easy to say, you know, Microsoft invested some money in open AI and they've got chat GPT powered bang. And isn't it funny that it says funny stuff or weird stuff or scary stuff, depending on your perspective. Um, but the real story here is that Microsoft is making Azure into the cloud for AI training and that it's powered by NVIDIA and Intel. And I think that that's actually a pretty cool enterprise tech story as well.